Wake is 21 and 13. The Bulldogs 18 and 16. And away we go with Poopy Miller, who is one point from 1,000 in his career. And here's Parker Fredrickson getting his first start of his Wake career in the absence of Salas. Here's Carr, hard dribble to the basket, and the Deacons in front. Noah Thomason is a grad transfer from Niagara. Comes one, in as Georgia's leading score just under 13 a game. One of the things with this team, WD, you mentioned it, is Kane, the freshman, lets one go from three, is able to knock it down. He had 19 points against Missouri in the SEC tournament, only five the other night in his first NIT game. Carr out of the corner, answers Kane's three. Andrew Carr, five, blue Kane three here early. And now we'll save it for Thomason. Long left-handed three is good for Noah Thomason. And uh, Moncrief are both on the floor, and that's Moncrief the rebound. Here's Thomason again, front rim miss of the three. Miller ahead. This is the catch for Hildreth. In traffic, put it up, score. Zonka, Hildreth. And here's Boopy Miller, still a point away from 1,000. In the lane, gets it. 1,000 in the career of Kevin Miller. Boopy. Hey, you it. went back. You went. You didn't even Google that. Oh, you I, went I back to you. I got one better than that for uh -oh. you. Uh-oh. There's a three ball from the right, and that is good. WD, one of the things when we talked with Mike Wright earlier, he told us simply when the, these two teams met up earlier is James knocks down his second three from the corner. With last eight points for Georgia belong to James. Wake is one of their last ten from the floor. Here's Miller out front. Long three from the front is good for Boopy Miller. He's got five. Four substitutes waiting at the scores table for Wake Forest right now. Going to be almost a complete line change for Steve Ford. Look at Zonka. Couldn't finish. Does follow his own miss. Tied at 14. Hill, a high-arcing shot's going to roll in. First field goal for Justice or Justin Hill, the senior transfer from Houston. He's been three straight double figures in four of the last five for Coach White. There is Hill. Justin Hill now with his 37th three of the year. He's got five. Yes, Justin Hill stunt like his mama, former <laughs> ACC player of the year. Donna Holt, of course, Wahoo Wah. That's it. Here's Hill on the drive and one on the Miller five. However, wardrobe change for Cameron Hilder. Tell the truth. Demery threw it away. Here's Miller with the turnover. He's got Thomason to beat and does. Seven for Boopy Miller. And that is now the seventh turnover for the Dogs. They did a great job when they were able to build the lead of keep controlling the basketball. Is then to Georgia. However, the Dogs having an eight-point lead right now. Thomason, it fell in for three. Now Second triple for Noah Thomason. That's not supposed to happen on the road. Of course, Steve Forbes understands that they're in danger zone right now, and they give up another three to Thomason, who's able to knock it down. And right now, Coach Forbes wants to talk to his team about what they've done defensively here. Here's Hilder, splits the double team into traffic, pushed it up, wouldn't go tap, follow. But he understands that he's got a guy missing who accounts for so much of the offense, and it's been an offensive struggle for this Wake Forest team. Three ball by Thomason is good. Now it goes to Hill. He's got Thomason in the corner. He'll step back for three in here. Justin Hill. My goodness. Miller working around Hill. Fall away too good off the baseline. Nine for Booby Miller in this first half. But Booby Miller's been all of the offense since the original explosion of Andrew Carr, who scored five points early in this game. It's been all about Booby Miller. Three ball deep from Hill again. Mike White probably wants to see we just play through halftime, doesn't he? Carr with three seconds left. He'll drop in a jump shot. Andrew Carr is going to finish the half. He's got nine, Corey. Demery down low. Here's Ansel Amibe. Kick out for James. Sure. Rattles in the three. 11 now for Dylan James on his third triple. He's done a tremendous job of taking advantage of those extra opportunities. That is a huge number. Here's Miller on the drive and the score. He's got 11 to lead the Deeks. But right now, Booby Miller needs some help on the offensive end of the floor, having to make plays for himself without getting much from his teammates. And have to read a little too easy offense, I mean defensively, it's great.
Here's Carr spinning through traffic. He'll score. Fights through a double team. Andrew Carr's got 11 now in his fifth field goal. Thomason squares up on Carr. Drives to the basket. Fall away left hand. Good. Boy, Thomason's got 14 now on his first two-point field goal of the day. But Thomason would have had all right to make a play and fire up a three on that one, WD, but makes a smart play getting into the paint, putting pressure on Carr to defend him at the rim. Look at Carr drive and score. Similar to what we saw in the first half from Andrew Carr, where he scored five early points for the Demon Deacons as he and Boopy Miller have combined for pretty much all the... Miller missed the layup from in front. Anselm had it poked away by Carr, but right to Kane, the three good. Make sure to put up a strong fight tonight against Baylor. Yep. Here's the take. Miller through. Runner with the right hand. Rattled out. Tap follow. Efton Reed. Reed. Back for Miller. This building kind of waiting to try and help the home team here. Miller in traffic and one. Reed in the second half versus Xavier at home last Wednesday. However, Xavier was able to come back. I believe so, but when you've got he and Hill on the floor together, you're playing with two point guards for Mike White. Demery on the drive and one. Now it's six for nine in the first matchup. Look at this. Reed and it rolls in. A little up and under by Anthony Reed. He's got six. Mark had a shot at it. Couldn't flag it down. Thomason's got it for the Bulldogs. Would have loved to have seen Hildreth attack the basket on that one. The great job defensively by Miller. Oh, Hildreth. Of Corey. But you see Clark with the tap away. And now Cameron Hilton, who's got some stuff in his bag, WD, the fake. They hit just one of their last nine from the floor. Here's Carr through traffic. Score. Nice pass by Efton Reed, Corey. It is. It is. Yeah. Here's a kick to the corner. Carr tees one up and hits. Guy knows he's struggling. But Fredrickson knows he's struggling, but George is throwing a little zone out yeah, of here. Yeah, George in that zone, you need someone that can be a good Oh, buffer. look at that. I told you he's got some stuff in his game, WD. He's got. Dogs have led by as many as 19 in the second half. Here goes Hill with 10 to shoot. Spots up at 18 and rolls it in. 522 to play. Here's Miller. That's where Carr. it needs to be. He's got to be aggressive in the middle of the zone. Carr turns inside, straight up. And it will roll in for Andrew Carr. They can get a score on this end of the floor and try to give themselves a little more breathing room as they get to the three-minute mark. Right side, three ball. Good. That is James. It's three of 18. And I can tell you a lot of the reason we can sum that up in two words. Hunter Salas. Yep. <laughs> is not there as Cameron Hildes is able to attack the basket and finish. You have a good look. You take it in comparison to getting a bad shot. Anselm. Here's Thomason. Long three from the front and good. Noah Thomason. Don't believe there's such thing as a dagger with 251 remaining. However, this is a huge bucket for Thomason. Knocking down the three has an opportunity for four as he counts it out using his fingers, of course. Hildreth, foul line area. Here's Reed. Bounce pass for Carr. Jump shot good. Andrew Carr now with 29 and a timeout. And looking three on this possession as well. Fredrickson had it blocked. Slaps it back out. Hildreth returns it for Fredrickson. Can't hit. Carr the dunk. Follow. And a time point game. It's two threes or bust for Wake Forest. Miller will launch. It's off the rim with four seconds to go. And Demery collects. And that will do it. Georgia is going to advance to the quarterfinals of the NIT with a six-point road win at Wake Forest, Corey, well, 72-66.